a body transformation isn't a body transformation without without a before and after. So you want to take a good look at yourself in the mirror, make sure your hair is on point, flex a little bit if you can do that because you're a beginner. So you, when I just started out, I, it was really weird. So step one is done. Okay, do you know the saying, food is made, food is made in the kitchen, yeah. Apps are made in the kitchen. That is completely true. Not only the apps, your full body. What you put in your body, that's what your body's gonna show. So, what are you gonna put in your body? Find out what you need to put into your body. It's pretty easy, you can find on the internet how many calories you need. Just type in how many calories do I need. Type in all the things that the size wanna know. Maybe you need 2,500 calories. Depending on your goal, you're gonna set your calorie intake. If you wanna lose weight, 300 to 500 calories below your intake to maintain. And if you wanna gain weight, 300 to 500 calories above your intake to maintain. But this is mainly testing things out and see how your body responds to certain stuff that you do and adapting to those responses. Basically, if you do what I just said you need to do and you think, I'm, I'm not losing any weight, lower your calories and see how your body responds to that. But what to eat? What can you eat? Obviously not too much of this. And obviously enough of this. But get everything in. Get your carbs in, get your protein in, and your fats. I would say around 20% bad, 80% good. Obviously you can go for 100% good. But especially since you're a beginner, you're tense to go for a little bit unhealthy because if you go for 100% good, at a certain point you're craving this too much that it's gonna be 100% bad. Okay, there's an example meal plan in the description below with also example foods you can take for your proteins, carbs and fats. Also made a lot of videos about food, so make sure to check those out here. Get your meals in order, get your meals right. Find and work out a plan that works for you, because then you will stick to it and then you'll get the gains. And oh yeah, drink your water. You need to work for your goals. No matter if your goal is getting buff and lifting a lot of weight or doing some cool stuff on the pull-up bar or some cool push-ups, or both, you need to work for it. So get off the lacy buttocks. Give me hundred. Okay, so you need to get your workout in, but how many times a week? Okay, if your goal is to build muscle, weighted, or heavy body weight training, I would say around four times a week. Talking about also weighted body weight stuff. So you're also going for reps and sets, but, and I know a lot of you are, if you're someone who wants to combine these two, so going for reps and sets and also calisthenics skills. I recommend picking some of your favorite skills, your favorite movements from bodyweight calisthenics training. Like the headset and the flank. Do these and throw these in your schedule. When you're taking a break, when you already had a workout but you want to improve your skills, when you're having a rest day and you want to improve your skills. I do recommend everyone throwing in some basics, some basic body weight movements. Maybe start off with only body weight movement. Hey, don't don't hate. Especially for the beginners out there. If you're not exactly sure what you're gonna do, if you're gonna go for full your weights, body weight training, I recommend both. Combine the two. Maybe start off with some basic pull-ups, push-ups, and get to know your body, get to know your strength, and build some lean muscle. Just a couple of weeks, eight to twelve weeks. And you know you got to know your body. You get maybe you got some gains, some strength gains. Now my man or girl. We're gonna go to the gym, gonna show off. By the way, the gym is great for calisthenics. We're gonna go to the gym. Show off. Do not do this, please. Please don't. Ego lifting. And yes, also with calisthenics. Hey, hey, there's a light. Don't put the weights too heavy. Don't make half reps for pull-ups so you can do more pull-ups. 
it it doesn't make any sense. Full range of motion and focus on the quality of the rep and your goals. And showing off! Also something really important a lot of beginners don't do, go into your workout with a plan. Huge plan. Know the exercise you're gonna do. Know which muscle groups you're gonna hit. Know your goals. Remember, this works the same as food. Find a plan that fits you. Excuses, excuses, and you guess it, McDonald's. Get your shit together. You know, write down your goals. Uh, make progress pictures so you can already look back at the hard work that you did. And yes, it can suck when you don't see any progress or you don't see any strength gains because you hit a plateau. But get your shit together. You know, get some friends involved. You can motivate each other. People, educate yourself. There's internet there. Pretty much everywhere. Search on things you want to know. Search on things you already think you know, but you, you want to know for sure. And educate yourself. You're not stupid. You're very smart. And you know, sometimes it's it's just awesome to have someone who forces you to do things. So if you want to know something, ask your friends. And sometimes you even need to ask a professional. So get out there and get buff. But, but my man, what kind of workouts do I need to do? What kind of food do I need to eat? What? I don't know! Basically, I learned all of this myself. Trying things out, see the results, trying new stuff out, seeing the results, incorporate them in one big plan. And sometimes this is hard, so I understand the frustration if you, you don't know anything yet, you will get there. Here's some good news. Somewhere in the next few months I'm going to be coming out... Point. No. Probably, it's not sure, but you need to comment down below. I will probably be coming out with some meal plans, workout plans, and maybe even personalized workout and meal plans. So let me know what you think of that. Let me know in the comments down below. Get ready for that. Oh, subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more of these kind of videos. What kind of videos do I actually make? Random, funny, just subscribe. So remember these three things, food, food, and food. Food, the quality and quantity of your workouts, Consistency. Let the games begin. Thank you so much for watching guys. 150,000 subscribers. Almost there before the end of the year. So, hope to hit it. See you next video. I love you back.